Hello guys, peace of the Lord with everyone. The topic today uh, is about a verse in the Quran, and this Quran, or this verse, is saying uh, the following. I want you please to read with me. This is Surah uh, 24, verse number 45. And Allah has created every animal from water of them they are some that creep on their bellies some that walk on two legs and some that walk on four <clears throat> now he is saying simply and clearly every animal and this is Islamic translation again because I know Muslims will say oh this is wrong translation blah 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 I know you know this is your official government website the, the government of Saudi Arabia the Ministry of Islam and Guidance. From there you can get a visa to go and do Hajj. So this is official government website. It's not a kid site. So every animal, either he walk by two legs or four legs or he walk by creeping in his belly. Now is that correct? Is that correct? If you go to Walkabedia website, which not you know Wikipedia is not a big deal for me. I'm just trying to show you information, right? You can get your your uh, your own uh, search in any anywhere you want, you know, library whatever. If you go to Wikipedia, this is all is listed as animals. This all, do you see it? This is what the word animal mean. It can be insect. It can be a tiger or a lion or a donkey or a dog or even a human. It can be uh, 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 even a hydra. It can be uh, uh, what, you know all whatever live in the sea. And he do eat. This is the definition of animal. Or can be this, who have tons of legs. I don't know what they call it in English, by the way. And I want people to forgive me because my English is really not that much. Uh, it's limited in somehow so uh, all those are considered as animals so when the God of Islam he says animals either they walk in their belly you see this is a definition of animals not my definition this is the, the, the this, they are showing you what animals mean <clears throat> and you can get your own search you don't have to go with my search and the picture in here is showing you what is animals okay so animals can be who live in the earth in the in the top of the ground and who live in the in the in the sky which means who fly and who live inside the water because all of them they are animals now those animals they've been called animals because they cannot produce their own food they have to eat something to survive they have to eat something to survive. Plant, they call the plant because they are the one who do produce their own food, so do not eat something else to survive. They are the one who is making their own food inside them. We know how that the, the plant, you know, the, the green leaf, take the energy from the sun using the, uh, the chemical inside the plant, and this chemical will be like a battery for energy as a food for the plant. So the plant to grow and survive. For us, we, do, we cannot depend on ourselves to survive. We have to eat something. No animal, no human can survive without eating. Eating is number one issue for us. We have to eat. Plant don't eat. So all of those, all of those, they are considered as a plant. Now the God of Islam is saying all those plants either they walk in their belly or two legs or four legs. Is that correct? Do this one have you know, if you look with me in the picture, do this one have uh, two legs for you, four legs for you, or maybe 44, maybe more? Some insects, they have a huge number of legs, I don't know how many. But if you count with me, you will see what I'm talking about. So either two or three, two or four, or in their belly. Well, this one doesn't have two, doesn't have four, have many legs. And maybe somebody will say it's moving in their, in their belly. 
Uh, no, they are not moving in their belly. They are using their legs. The belly is not the one is causing them to use. They are not creeping. Because the Quran is saying a creeping is hafoon. So, and this one, this one, how many legs have? Look with me. One, two, three from this side, which means six legs. But the God, he said, either two or four. What about this one? What about this one? So it's very clear that the one who is talking about creation in the Quran, he is just a fool. He cannot be God. Because simply he is saying every animal created from water and he walked this way. Every animal. So I hope this is very clear for you guys and you learned about something new today. Uh, 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 you know the God of Islam he is just the same as someone he claimed to be a teacher and when he go to the school the student ask him questions and later they found out that their teacher he do not know he is there to learn and I advise the Muslims to send their God Allah back to school so when they talk about miracles in the YouTube etc you know we are showing you and you know by the way you will never see Muslims making a video about this one how come? Isn't it Allah is telling us about his creation? How you don't make why you don't make a video about this? Explain this one to me. They will make a video about something they can play games with them, you know with it. This one is very clean. Very clear. It's a it's a clean evidence for you. You, you. you will see it right away. The other ones they can put some dust in the top of it to play with the translation, do games, etc. And they will say, You see, see, see? And here they cannot do it. So, again, anyone in here is listening to me. Please don't trust my words. Go and search by your own. I don't want you to be the same as those, those Muslims who they are brainwashed. Somebody say to say, you know something to them, and they say, "Wow, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar." No, don't do that. Don't be fool. We are not Muslims. We are Christians, and we are allowed to question everything. Do your own study. Do your own search. And go right now and search in Google in Yahoo. What the word animal mean? What the word plant mean? And by the way, before I forgot, there is there is some kind of animals they don't they don't walk at all. Like corals who live in the ocean. I hope I'm saying the name correctly. You know, they don't move, and they are animals. They don't move at all, at all, at all. They are fixed with the rocks as a plant. They look like a plant, but they are not a plant. They are animals. And there is a lot of animals like that in the ocean. They look like a plant, but they eat fish. Actually, there is a plant who live in the top of the ground, not only in the water, who eat insect, which they are, because they are animals. They are not a plant. They look like a plant. They eat you know, the second you see a plant do eat, it's mean this plant is not a plant anymore. It's a it's an animal. So you will see a plant is hunting. I don't know if you saw that in Discovery Channels or any. You know, you will see an insect is stopping in the top of the uh, a plant, look like a plant, look like a rose. You know, and right away that plant will hold that insect inside and will eat it because simply it is not a plant. It is an animal. He looked like a plant. And scientists, they, 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 they divine between plant and animals, not only by the way they eat, you know, because, you know, we said animals, don't, uh, animals do eat, plants don't eat. Not only that, the cells is different. The cells inside is different. And, you know, you can read about that by, you, by yourself and you can, you can search more. So now it's very clear that the one who made the surah in the Quran cannot be God. And this is a very huge mistake to say that all animals have walk or, or uh, even by their uh, craving by their belly or two legs or four legs. This is a mistake in the Quran and we will show you more and more is coming. Thank you all. Jesus is Lord. Islam is false. Amen.